What's up, everybody? This is Trevor from the King Speech Podcast here with Movies I Like. So in this episode of Movies I Like, in quarantine fashion, of course, I'm going back through all the great movies that I like to watch, all the Blu-rays and DVDs that I've got. And next up is Juice. So Juice, of course, stars Tupac Shakur, Omar Epps. It's set in New York City in the early 90s. They're high school kids that run the streets, don't really go to school, and find other ways of hustling to get money. They do some innocent shit, and then they do some shit like, you know, stick up a liquor store or even, in, in Bishop's case, kill a few people that he, you know, just doesn't like. But I'm going to go through the three things that I like about the movie and three things that I hated about the movie. Three things I loved about the movie. In Juice, you have to appreciate Tupac's raw depiction and portrayal of his character, Bishop. Bishop is mentally disturbed. Bishop has rage issues. Bishop is a product, product of his environment and doesn't know how to handle his emotions, just like a lot of young black kids growing up there. Uh, back then, there were no books on anxiety, and there was no diagnosis of mental health issues when it came to young men, especially young black men, in neighborhoods like New York City in the early 90s. So Tupac really tapping into you know the rage and some of the issues that Bishop had was really, really monumental, and it gave us a really great you know, picture of how great an actor Tupac was. Second thing I liked about Juice has to be the music. The music was amazing throughout the film, and then the soundtrack featured some of the era's greatest artists. And a huge positive is that there was no Tusi sliding to be even mentioned in that era of music. So no Tusi sliding, great music, great soundtrack. Third thing I liked about Juice is Steele's Hoochie Coochie Dance when he meets up with his boys telling him about a chick that he smashed. And of course, it's really toxic and it's mas- It's really like toxic masculinity doing stuff like that and displaying it on the street. But every guy has done it. Every single time when you're a kid or a teenager, early 20s, even in your 30s, hint, hint, you know, you smash that girl that has an Isha on the end of her name and you go bragging to your friends about it. It's a, it's a great celebration. Three things I hated about Juice. First, I hated the ending. The way Bishop just falls to his death as as if he's seemingly falling into like a black hole, the abyss, after he drops off the edge of the building and Q and no, and Q is trying to pull him back up. I just feel like that's too simple of an end for a character as complex as Bishop. We need to see a death scene. He needs to get like shot in the leg or something. He just has a soliloquy before he dies. And then even like the sound dubbing and the mixing was bad on that last scene. So it was tough to hear what he was saying. But a character like that just deserves a much better end. Give him a Tony Stark Iron Man end. That's what Bishop deserves. Second thing I hated about Juice. Where the fuck were everybody's parents? When Raheem died and they had a memorial at his house, everybody's parents were there. They were well-dressed. They were very, uh, you know, just like aware of what was going on. But when liquor store robbing plans are being devised, everybody's unaware of what everybody's kids are doing. I just wonder if anybody back then watched Fox 5 and heard that question, it's 10 o'clock, do you know where your children are? Last thing I hated about Juice was Sam Jackson's a uh, teenage girl flirting arcade owner character. The character's name was Trip. Trip was talking to more young girls than these little Paw Patrol puppies do on TV every single day. Really, really creepy R. Kelly vibes. Uh, somebody should have, you know, hemmed up, hemmed up Trip a long time ago. Those are three things I like, three things I hated about the classic film Juice.